are applied. They're designed to be relifted every six to eight weeks for a damage-free application. You should always start with your consultation to gather as much information from your client as possible. You ask questions like, have you had extensions before? What look do you wish to achieve? Thickness, length or both? Ask about their lifestyle, such as, do you tie your hair a lot? If so, you should know to allow extra space around the hairline. Once you have gathered all the information needed, it is now time to grab your colour swatch so that you can decide what colour to use. Make sure that when you are colour matching, that you always match the colour of the ends of your client's hair. You will need the following tools to perform your application. Flat plated pliers, two metal tail cones, four butterfly clips, one slide clip. Step one. Ensure that your client's hair has been freshly washed. Make sure that conditioner wasn't applied directly to the roots. It is important to make sure that your client's ends are not blunt. If they are, we highly recommend you soften them. Step two. Part hair in four sections, straight down the middle, then from ear to ear. Starting at the nape, take an inch and a half section. Taking a large section will ensure that extensions will not show if they tie their hair up. Step three, grab your first perfect hair tape extension and before peeling the adhesive, use the piece as a guide to determine how many pieces are needed for your first section. Peel the cover from the adhesive and position your towel comb on the bottom part of the adhesive as seen in the video. Step four, Using your second metal comb, part the very top of your first section. This should be very fine as seen in the video. Your section should be one centimetre shorter than the width of your tape extension. Grab the towel comb you prepared early, position your comb and tape extension underneath and in the middle of your section of hair, then gently roll out your comb. Step five, grab another tape extension, peel the cover from the adhesive, Position your second tape extension directly on the tape of your previous piece and using your fingers smooth over your tape extension piece. Step 7. Use a pair of pliers to press down along the bond of your now formed tape extension sandwich. If your pliers are too short, press on each side.